I <laughs> thought it looked very clear at first. So did I. It's very yeah. cloudy. Yeah, it's it's very light and pale yellow. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh my god, mine's super full. I poured a little hard. Like FYI's are supposed to have big head on it, so there's something in this that's killing the head. But it smells very right. strong of apricot. Yeah, apricot's the first thing you get when you take a whiff of this guy. So I'm curious if they use real or extract. Nothing much else though. There's a sweetness to it and there's a definite apricot, but not really anything else on that. I aroma. barely smell anything. You get a nose transplant. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of um, Dry Dock's apricot beer. Yeah, a little bit. In that it tastes like crayon to me. <laughs> I don't get that. I don't get that, and I also like Dry Docks a whole lot more. Dry Docks sour version of their apricot ale is way better than the regular one. Their sour version is awesome, but the regular one and this one tastes a little bit like peach crayon to me. Apricot crayon. You eat a lot of apricot crayons? Yeah. It's alright. I could drink a couple of these, but nothing to write home about. It's still good. I don't think it's terrible, but it's like a good beer with a hint of crayon in it. I think it's pretty decent. Um, I like it. Like I said, when like Tom said, like everybody said, it's light, it's crisp, it's easy to drink. The apricot's kind of weird in it. Maybe that's why Dave's getting the crayon thing. Yeah. But I have no problem drinking these, and I did more than write home about it. I brought this home from Utah. 